eye that I removed today for a patient that has chronic glaucoma. We've been managing very well for several years, but unfortunately in dogs, glaucoma is a disease that we always lose the battle eventually. And so the eye is no longer visual and the pressure gets too high, so it's very painful for the animal. So the only choice is to either remove it or to put in a prosthetic eye. These owners elected to have a, the eye removed. And so what you can see here is we actually take the eyelid tissue from around it um, so that I close the lid and sew it shut so it completely looks like a dog's best blinking but you can see the eye there inside and it actually has a little bit of a blue appearance to it and that's partly because the pressure was so high that it was causing some fluid to leak into the cornea but we remove the eye and all of the surrounding tissue and if you actually look at the back of the eye here you can see where the optic nerve and everything uh, goes into the back so we we clamp that off and then we pack the orbit or the socket around the eye with a special foam that's got um, an analgesic or a medication that numbs it to protect it. So this dog's gonna feel very comfortable, be very happy. She didn't need this eye anymore. It was no longer visual, meaning she couldn't see out of it. The pressures were no longer able to be controlled. So uh, the owner elected this and this is a great, the, the best choice. We certainly do not wanna leave a dog with a painful eye. That's not, that's not appropriate, especially if it's not visual. So these owners um, are very diligent, made a great decision for her. So I just wanted to kind of show it to you. I think it's kind of cool to look at that.